doing a quick little haul well little it's actually stuff that I've piled on for the past weeks um, it's not an overnight sh crazy shopping it's just things that I've actually um, piled up and I just thought I would share with you guys some things that are recently new that I literally just got today in the mail so I just thought well I'm done so I might as well just start um, doing the haul to start off I am gonna show you guys the things that I've had the longest to the newest so if you guys want to see what I got just keep watching so I'm gonna start um, in no partic particular order store wise because I just have everything here and I just wanna you know just whatever's in front of me go and start from there so if you guys have seen my most recent videos you've seen that I have been using this Maybelline uh, Master Bronze and it's a bronzer like this it's in the number 330 it looks like this it's a nice um, just bronzy look and I love it it's a bronzer that I have been using in my last couple of videos so if you're in the market for a new bronzer and especially that is price friendly I would highly highly recommend this there's more shades um, I think this is the second to the last one I'm not sure this is called um, paradise bronze number 330 it gives you a nice great natural bronzy look and you don't have to spend the hours in the Sun so that's a good thing I don't like to spend hours in the Sun so I love it so the next thing that I got is this new Maybelline um, pumped up colossal mascara and I've been hearing so many people talk about this and I'm excited to try it I love the brush that it has it's this brush right here and I've just wanted to try it I need a new mascara my number one mascara if you guys have seen my videos is this one the L'Oreal Voluminous Original I love this mascara I've been using it for the past seven years I have in the mix of these seven years have thrown in some mascaras here and there some sample ones and I just always go to that mascara but I'm excited to try this one I hear good things about it so if you guys want to see a first impression on this let me know down below and I will for sure do that for you guys so the next two items that I got they're pretty much just repurchases because I ran out of them or not ran out but for the first one it's the Rimmel same matte as you can see I'm hitting pan on my last one it's not too um, too empty but it's just close to it so I'd rather have one in stock and you know get one right before it finishes so I got that and I'm trying a different color it's number four sandstorm it seems like the exact same color but just a little bit more beigey color I guess <laughs> and then the next one is the Maybelline um, fit me concealer in number 20 sand this is my holy grail drugstore concealer I've been at the drugstore and I've been pulled aside and asked you know what concealers good here and I always always recommend this one so next I got a new Milani baked blush and it's this one it's called Rose the Oro number two and it looks like this it's a beautiful golden pinkish bronzy blush I'll do a quick swatch for you guys right here it's so so pretty I love it the pigmentation on these are crazy I have I think two other ones but this one is just so beautiful I am highly highly in love with this one highly highly um, recommend this one to you guys so the next thing that I got is this Maybelline lip gloss it's number 40 and it's called and it's called I'm um, blushing and it's the color elixir elixir I think so and it's a beautiful like it's a new summer collection um, there are so many of them and there are some that kind of looked exactly like so I just went for this one I do have other ones from the, the brand but I just decided to get this one it's right here if you guys can see it it's a beautiful beautiful pink um, baby pink it's such a nice color just on its own like oh this is so beautiful I'm so in love with this color so the next two things are nail polishes and they're from the L'Oreal collection Prive or Privy I don't know how it's spelled. It's P P R I V E. So that's what it's called. <laughs> the 
first one is called Julian's Nude number 620. That's what it looks like. It's such a beautiful pinkish nude. The next one that I got is called Del Delson's Nude and it's number 600. So this one is more like a taupey kind of light plum nail polish color. It's such a beautiful shade. The next thing that I got was these two China Glaze. The other two nail polish I got them from Target. These I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. They are beautiful neon bright shades for the summer. Um, this one right here is called uh, Celtic Sun number 1015. Yeah, Celtic Sun number 1015. It's a beautiful neon yellowish color. The next one is called 873 Flip Flop Fantasy. They have cute names to them. It is a very bright coral color. It looks so pretty on the nails. So the next product that I got is this Ardell Double Up um, Lashes number 203. They look like this. And they are pretty much what the name says, Double Up. They are just pretty much two eyelashes in one. Instead of you struggling to put two eyelashes together, they already come prepared. <laughs> the next product is an e.l.f. brush. I've been really into e.l.f. Um, brushes more than usual. And this was a blending eye brush and it looks like this. It's from like the white collection. It's a more dense um, brush. It has, it's like a smaller version of the E40 from Sigma. If you guys don't know what I mean. This is the E40 from Sigma. And it's like a smaller version of this one so put them together it's just a smaller version and more dense and it gives you more precise look to where you want to put the eyeshadow so if you put it right here you're gonna get more of a line and you could just go in and blend it out so that's a great brush for that or you could apply eyeshadow underneath your eye with it as well so the next products that I got are from Target and they are from the Ma the CoverGirl collection um, they are the color licious. I believe they recently came out. I got three of them, three colors, which are these right here. There is, I want to say, like eight different colors. There might, be, there might be more if you go on their website. I'm not sure, but these lip glosses are very nice. I tried these already, and they are more on the sheer side. I'll give you guys some swatches right now. So for this one, the first one, this one is called. Plumalicious and it's number 650 and just a quick little swatch. This is the swatch of it right here The next one is called number It's number 710 and it's called Berrylicious and these smell really good. They smell like vanilla. This is the swatch right here That's Berrylicious. The next one that I got is more for it's to be more used as a top coat for any lipstick and this one is number 600 melted coffee and it's this one right here if you guys can see it's such a nice nude sheer um, lip gloss it's nice to put say you put a bright pink lipstick and you want to kind of tone it down after you put it on you're like whoa so you could put this one on top and it'll tone it down the next product that I got is from Macy's and I got this Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. This is like really good makeup remover. Like I've been hearing nonstop about this and I was like, okay, I need to try it because some of the products that I use do not get taken off with just uh, makeup remover wipes like eyelash glue does not come off and this actually helps it come off and it's very good I've been trying it as you can see it's kind of like right here already and it's really good it does leave you oily a little bit on your lids but it does the trick so I don't mind a little oiliness to my eyes the next product that I'm gonna show you guys is a product that I already tried I just did a quick um, review like first impression on it and it's my you know to fill in my eyebrows and it's this new uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Duet. And it has two, sorry, it's already open, so I just wanna show you guys like the case, how it comes. And it comes like this, it has a little um, sharpener. And it has two, um, eyelet well, eyeliner. it has two brow pencils. And one's lighter and one's darker. And 
so far I can say it. Well, I can't say anything because then you guys will watch the video, right? So stay tuned for that video. The next thing that I got is from Sephora and it's the Becca Mineral Mineral Blush in Demsafly. And it's a beautiful peachy golden blush. Like that's literally my description. It looks like this. Do you guys see how pretty that is? So that's the blush right there. I'm gonna do a quick swatch on my hand for you guys. So that is a swatch of the Becca Demsafly blush. It's such a beautiful like coral um, blush this is great for every skin tone I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a just a high-end blush and yeah so beautiful I'm excited to try it out the next product I'm sure you guys have heard about this everywhere because it's everywhere you go well Sephora wise it's everywhere and YouTube and it's the new um, was it benefit their real push-up liner it looks like this. I saw so many people already trying this out and I'm like, I like it. I swatched it at the store and it's so black. Like, it's so black, like black, black. So I'm excited to try that. So the next thing that I got was this Laura Mercier Oil Free Fla uh, Flawless Face Kit. And it's a uh, kit that includes all her best selling products. Um, and it includes two brushes, like concealer brushes. And it includes a velour puff and a sponge, which is used to apply your um, tinted moisturizer. You could also apply it with the foundation primer, but I like to use my hands for that. Um, and yeah, so this is a great kit to try out if you're in the market for um, new BB creams. The tinted moisturizer is pretty much the same thing. This brand, the products are very great products. I just did a quick uh, first impression review demo video on this so keep an eye out for that one I will be posting it soon after this video and yeah it's retails at $65 at Sephora the next two products were from Walmart the two things that I bought were from Onyx professional and it's nail stuff it's to remove your nail polish and to dry your nail polish faster so this one I've actually been using it and I swear to you guys within two to four depending how much nail polish you put on two to four maybe five even swatches on your nail this will take it off it is such a great product and you guys it's only 250 so that's really good like 250 really okay <laughs> And this one is in strawberry and it's enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil which is great for your nails and it removes nail polish, nail glue, glitter polish and more so you guys should definitely try that out and the next one is the nail dryer and it's an island coconut scent it's fast drying and it conditions cuticles and nails so it's really good so this product, I wanted to um, try it out because I heard so many people talk about it for literally the past year, non-stop. I've heard, the past two years, I've heard people um, talk about this. And it's the Numi Titan 3. And it's this um, curling wand that has three different sizes. It has the 32, I believe the 25, and the 19, which is the smallest one right here. So I am so excited to try this out. I do want to do a review on it just for those of you that don't know about this product. And yeah, so you guys will see that video coming up soon. So last but not least is the thing that I am most, most excited for because I have been collecting these items for, I don't know, quite some time. Well, ever since they came out with them. And the other night I was on Sephora's website and I saw that they recently came out with this new palette and it's from Tarte. And it's the new Tarte palette. It's called the Rainforest After Dark Color Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. And it, the case looks like this and the palette, dun dun dun, it looks like this. <laughs> and it's those like CD circle type of palette. And I saw this, I saw the snake, the beautiful purple diamond right here. I was just like, okay. 
you got me with the case already now I need to see the inside so I I saw the pictures of the inside and this is what the inside looks like Do you guys see how pretty this neutral but yet everyday wearable type of palette is so this is the palette of clothes it's such a beautiful palette I collect these whenever Target comes out with them because they are very beautiful and they're very travel friendly so I'm gonna be doing a review on this product so keep an eye out for that because I'm so excited that this um, palette came out. So that is all for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I did review um, a couple of these things already. So they will be in the next couple of days they'll be coming out. And yeah, so please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below any products that you guys literally want to see more in depth. And yeah, that's all you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.